What's up, Lucci gang? Welcome back to the channel. You watching Luciano TV. And today is a life in the day. And we done had did a whole bunch and it's only 8.30 in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I know one thing, raising children is a full-time job. From the time they wake up to the time they go to sleep. What? What is what? This? That's ketchup. But you don't need it right now. That's for your French fries. Yes. You cleaning the table? Okay. Good boy. Baby Rose sitting down on your chair? You big boy. You big boy. That's him. That's so funny. I walk in here. Look. It's supposed to rain a lot today out here in Texas. There's a tropical storm out there. Okay, don't do that. He's mad because I just stepped on his little balloon and popped it. Yeah, it's supposed to rain out here a lot today. So I had to wake up early and get out there and get my little morning jog in before it started raining on me. Because I can't let that climate be an excuse to my daily disciplines. You know what I'm saying? I'm on a, I'm on a journey. I'm on a personal development journey for those of y'all that do not know. The beginning of this year, I started running every morning praying every morning and reading every morning and that's been working out very well for me and on the road to personal development at some point the focus shifts to contribution so i've been starting to help others on my on their process and their journey so i got other i got other people that i've been mentoring and coaching and helping on their road to personal development What? Watch you. I popped your balloon? Mm -hmm. Okay, you keep screaming, I'm gonna pop your other one. Oh, now you wanna pop it. Okay. Yes. Oh! Okay. <laughs> Where'd it go? You popped it. Anyway, as I was saying, I got a lot of people that hit me up on my inbox and Instagram and they asking for questions about how to, you know, get through tough times. They're with either their depression, addiction, financial hardships. And I tell them, man, I, I got the formula. I know the formula. It's just it takes self-discipline, but I got the formula for success. And I could tell it to you all day, but you got to apply what I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? I could coach you all day. I could train you all day. But if you don't apply yourself, you know what I'm saying? It ain't going to work for you. I could tell you all day till I'm blue in the face what you got to do to overcome whatever it is you're dealing with. But if you don't apply those principles in your life day in and day out, seven days a week, it ain't going to, nothing going to change in your life. And the first thing you got to do is get right with God. You got to put God first. You know what I'm saying? You got to put God first. When you wake up in the morning, you got to start your day off straight with prayer. That's giving God the first moments of your day. That's you dedicating the first moments of your day to God. You know what I'm saying? When you start your day off with prayer. But when you grab your phone and get to checking your inbox and get to checking your Facebook and all that, you're giving your first part of the day. To social media and that ain't gonna work the second thing you need to do is go get your heart rate pumping do some push-ups some jumping jacks go jog around the block go run go for a walk whatever it is you got to do to get your heart rate pumping that's the second thing you got to do and the third thing you got to do is read you need to read something that'll fatten up your brain Well, no, boy, you're not going to play out here. It's finna rain. Mm. 
Come on, come inside. But yeah, man, you, that's what you got to do. You got to do those three things every morning, religiously, every morning, before you grab your phone, before you do anything, before you get your coffee, before you have your breakfast, before you do go to work, before you go to school. So if you got to wake up an hour earlier or uh, two hours earlier, whatever you got to do to make that happen. But you got to do that first. But it takes discipline because some days you're not going to want to get up. I didn't want to get up today. You're going to be like, oh, it's Saturday. I could take the day off. You're going to be like, it's Sunday. It's cold outside. It's, you'll make all kind of excuses up in your head why you don't want to do it. I still make excuses up in my head, but I got to overcome those excuses. And the way you'll overcome those excuses is you got to find your purpose, your why. You got to find out why you want to better yourself, why you want to. You know what I'm saying? And my why is these beautiful little babies. Oh, for real? That's how you feel? Okay, well, come inside. What, is, what happened to your t-shirt? How did your t-shirt come off? He knows how to take it off. Why you take your shirt off, boy? What is it? A cupcake. Yay. Is it good? Uh -huh. Shout out to everybody who is, who is on a journey to better themselves. The reason I think that uh, I, I just thought of it, it's not something I knew. I just, it was just, I had an epiphany that the reason I think praying, running and reading every morning works is because it's mind, body and spirit. You're feeding. You're feeding your spirit first by praying, your body by running, and your mind by reading. So you're starting your day off right, feeding your mind, body, and spirit. You're watching Cleo? Just a Saturday afternoon. Don't know how we ended up right here at this spot. But this is where our path led us. We actually just went and had lunch. It was raining real bad out here in Houston. We got out the restaurant, it wasn't raining. And then we're driving and we saw the waterfall and Houston said, I wanna go, so let's go see the waterfall. Go. Whoa! What is it, Houston? What is it?
guapo! How many of y'all here in Houston ever stood in a 15 when you were younger and like came here to take pictures? Type in the comments and let me know. Because I know I did a whole bunch of times. Hold on. Did you have fun? Yeah. Come here. Bye bye. What's up, Genevieve? Mm, hi. Anything particular you want to tell your viewers? Make sure you like, subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you can notified every time we post another video. <laughs> well, Kelly's about to go to the nail shop to get her nails did and leave me here with all the children. <laughs> I'm a hands-on dad, you know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> being a, a parent is a full-time job from the time you wake up. From the time the kids wake up, so the time they go to sleep, it's, it's full-time action, man. But it's all good. I'm no longer living for myself. I'm living for my children. I've lived an extraordinary life, so I, I am not complaining. All the kids done ran off to their room. Don't nobody want to help. And Kelly's still at the nail shop. I don't know what to do. You good? Oh, now you want to chill. He been crying this whole time. As soon as I turn the camera on, he want to stop. Oh, you think it's a game? What's up, y'all? Well, I just got back from the nail shop. I got my natural nails dipped. If you've never tried dipping your nails, it's basically them dipping it in like the acrylic powder. They're not putting no fake nails on you. It's your real nail. Well, I, I'm i pretty sure you're welcome to ask for a tip, but I never do. Like, I always just do my real nails. Um, I felt like I needed to give them a break. But anyways, um, I know I haven't really been talking too much today. It's just I've been in my own head. I've, I've been like just enjoying, you know, my kids, the day, and trying to be mindful. Um, I've been trying to practice that a lot, being in the moment and just observing everything around me and embracing it. And, you know, just being here for my kids and Lucky and myself. Um, so, yeah. I apologize for not being too much talkative today. I know I'm always the one yapping away, like yada 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 yada. Blah, 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 blah. And I know sometimes y'all are like, when is she gonna shut up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, I am here in the restroom with baby Ro. Look at him, he's so cute. I'm about to give him a bath. Um, I just made dinner for myself and Lucky. And Kingston actually wanted to take it upon himself to cook dinner for the kids, for him and Gigi and Leah and Houston. I basically just walked them through it. I hope y'all are having a great day. I hope that y'all stay safe out there. I know Hurricane Hannah is hitting a couple of Texas cities and um, I just want to make sure that, you know, I let y'all know that we're praying for y'all and 
we do care about y'all so we want to make sure we let y'all know that y'all need to stay home if you can um i know we're like the last people to talk about staying home because we're always out and about but mother nature will come and mess some stuff up okay um so yeah y'all stay safe stay home if you have to i know it's like hitting corpus christi and like uh, uh all the surrounding cities and stuff um so i know galveston is kind of like seeing some type of um rain uh, but other than that i'm gonna let y'all go i'm yapping away again sorry but just wanted to get on here and update y'all uh we really didn't do much today y'all saw what we did and whatever you didn't see it was just because we were taking the moment to just you know enjoy ourselves out without having to pull out a camera but i will say we went to color but i will say we went to catalog bar today you guys and i found a hair in my sour cream so i was kind of freaked out about that and i was like Ugh. so um <laughs> that happened today um i said i was gonna stop talking like a minute ago so i'm signing out you guys but before we get out of here let me get these birthday shout outs happy birthday shout out to abby garza turning 18 years old happy birthday abby and another birthday shout out goes to lionel from cortez colorado happy birthday lionel already man y'all stay true stay blessed stay safe we love y'all lucha gang i'm out